Hello dear students. In this lecture, we will discuss how to calculate percentage similarity between different cultivars of a species using RAPD profile and using binary method for construction of dendrogram manually. So as we have discussed, dendrogram is the placement of the analyzed sample showing their homologs or distances on a distance scale. So you can see that this is a distance scale and this is showing, this picture is showing a dendrogram. Dendrogram shows various nodes occupied by either sets of species or even represented by a single species. So here you can see that this is a cluster of species uh, and a single sp species in the dendrogram is known as OTU or operational taxonomic unit. Now arrangement of species taken takes place in the form of groups of species known as cluster. For example in this dendrogram this is a cluster of three species say the name of the species is B, G, I and this is a cluster of four species C, D, E, F. Species with analyzing after analyzing are grouped into various clusters and within each cluster the constituent nodes are occupied by single species or sets of species. So with comparison between different species homologs can be established which can be utilized for planning the programming and for further breeding uh, processes and each cluster can be arranged for studying evolutionary patterns or their relationship. So in the wet lab for doing this practical, we first what are the different steps? We isolate the DNA of each cultivar and then we do RAPD using um, random primers and perform PCR uh, amplification reactions. The primers will bind to uh, their homologs and it depends on uh, species to species or cultivar to cultivar. Then we run the gel and then we after that we make a um, we get a gel and using that gel we make a binary matrix with the help of that gel or auto radiogram. So how do we make a binary matrix? We make binary matrix by scoring the data or bands we mark 1 for the presence of band and 0 for the absence of band. For example in this particular RAPD profile you see that how many uh, lanes are there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we say we mark these lanes as B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I and then we have marked these bands say like this. So uh, then we compare the similarity between different species. So now we see say for example in this uh, in this diagrammatic representation we have marked the presence of band with 1 and the absence of band with 0. So this is called binary matrix for example from this data we can see that that uh, band number 1 is absent in B cultivar while it is present in C cultivar, D cultivar, E cultivar. So in, ba in band number 1 we have shown uh, it with 0 in B cultivar while in C, D, E it is shown with 1 and similarly one F is also 1. Now in G the band number 1 is absent so we are showing it with 0. So this is the first method for of this practical that you make a, a diagrammatic representation of the bands of the gel and then we make a binary matrix by scoring the data with 0 and 1. 0 is for absence of band and 1 is for presence of band. Then we calculate the percentage similarity between different combination of species and then we draw the similarity matrix with the help of percentage similarity and then we plot the dendrogram. 
सो द यू पी जी एम ए विच इज़ कॉल्ड अनवेटेड पेयर ग्रुप मैथड विथ एरेथमेटिक मीन इज द सिंपल मैथड विच इज़ यूज फॉर डिटर्मिनिंग द सिमिलैरिटी इंडेक्स बिटवीन डिफरेंट स्पीशीज सो हियर एज वी वी कैन सी दैट दिस इज यर रेप्लिका ऑफ ऑफ द जेल एंड दिस इज द मैट्रिक्स वन विच इज कॉल्ड बैनरी मैट्रिक्स बिकॉज द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द बैंड इज शोन विथ वन एंड जीरो एंड देन दिस इज द फार्मूला फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द सिमिलैरिटी इंडेक्स एंड दिस इज फार्मूला इज जेनेटिक एसोसिएशन अमंग द डिफरेंट कल्टिवर्स इज मेजर्ड बाई जकार्ड सिमिलैरिटी कोफिशियन इंडेक्स सो वॉट इज द फार्मूला नंबर ऑफ कॉमन बैंड बिटवीन टू स्पीशीज डिवाइडेड बाय नंबर ऑफ बैंड एक्सक्लूसिव टू एक्स दैट इज योर फर्स्ट स्पीशीज प्लस नंबर ऑफ बैंड विच आर कॉमन टू बोथ द स्पीशीज प्लस नंबर ऑफ बैंड विच आर एक्सक्लूसिव टू सेकेंड स्पीशीज दैट इज से वाई से फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस मैट्रिक्स वन और द बाइनरी मैट्रिक्स वी कैलकुलेट द सिमिलैरिटी ऑफ कोफिशन बिटवीन से कल्टिवर बी एंड सी so you see that in b and c how many how will you calculate this you see that there are uh, one means presence of band and zero means absence of band so according to the formula jacquard similarity coefficient the numerator is number of common bands so you see count the number of common bands there are six bands which are common so how do you count it how you count it because there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 six in six places we have one between b and c so six then we have uh, it is divided by zero because the zero is number of uh, the denominator will be number of bands which are exclusive to b species so there is no such band plus number of common bands which is six and number of bands which are exclusive to c species so we can see see that there is one band which is exclusive to c that is your first band where the b has zero so this is 6 by 7 which becomes 0.86 similarly if you see the coefficient similarity coefficient between b and d you see on uh, the number of bands six are common bands and there are no exclusive band um, which is present in um, no if you see similarity between coefficient between b and d so similarly you have the same uh, similarity coefficient b and d then next is your b and e so same you have 0.86 now next is b and f same 0.86 now you come to b and g so b and g you have uh, here the change occurs because the number of uh, common bands remain same but there are no exclusive bands in b and g similarly b and i and so this is how you calculate the similarity coefficient between different species and then you make the matrix true so this is according to the calculations which we have made and from this matrix we come to know that the cultivar b is showing highest similarity index between with g and i because the value here comes 1 and the next cluster is of c d e f since d e f is already included in the first uh, since so this is your second cluster c d e f now these are your different calculations which we have just uh, which we have just discussed so what is our conclusion from matrix 2 that mark the highest similarity coefficient values in the matrix which is 1 in this case and 1 is highest so this from this matrix we come to know that bgi is one cluster and you have c d e f is second cluster so then we do not include here d e f because it is already coming in c d e f so this is these are your two clusters from matrix 2 this is your major uh, conclusion from matrix 2 now uh, so from calculations this this is our major calculation uh, conclusion that 
BGI is one cluster and CDEF is, is another cluster. Now uh, we will calculate similarity coefficient between two major clusters which we have concluded from matrix 1. So our major clusters are BGI and CDF. So we will be calculating similarity coefficient between BGI and CDF now and we will make matrix 3. So how to calculate it? So we have put BGI and CDF here and we have put the same formula to calculate the Jacquard's similarity coefficient index. So first we will calculate the similarity index of B with CDEF and simple arithmetic mean like this we will be getting numerator B, C, B, D, B, E, B, F and it will be divided by 4 because there are compared with 4 cultivars. Similarly with G, we are comparing G with C, D, E, F. So this will be G, C plus G, D upon G, E, G, C plus G, D plus G, E plus G, F upon 4 because there are 4 cultivars and similarly similarity index of I with C, D, E, F will be I C plus I D plus I E plus I F upon 4. So we will get uh, this all these 0 0.6, 0 0.86, 0 0.86, 0 0.86 and then ultimately they will be divided by 3 because we are taking arithmetic mean of all these 3 major um, um, this um, uh, cultivars. So we are getting 0 0.86 now. So we have put here the value 0 0.86. So uh, this is uh, between BGI and CDF. Now other than BGI and CDF, H cultivar is left. So we will calculate the similarity index with H also. So here we are getting BGI and H. Same formula and we will be getting the value 0 0.66. So we have put here 0 0.6. Now similarly CDF and H. So we have same formula and we are getting the value 0 0.57. So we have from this we have concluded matrix 3 uh, from matrix 3 we have concluded that the similarity index between BGI and CDF is highest that is your 0.86 now from this now we make matrix 4 by taking BGI and CDF as one cluster so we have put here BGI CDF and then we are calculating its similarity index with H and we will be finally getting the value 0.61 after this calculation. So here so you can see, see that right by taking BGI CDEF as one cluster and we are calculating with H. So we have we are dividing it with 7 because this ultimately there are 7. H is uh, compared with 7 cultivars BGI CDEF. So the arithmetic mean comes to be. 0.61 so we will put here 0.61 so from this we have calculated matrix 4 so what is our conclu conclusion from uh, all the matrices which we have cal cal calculated from matrix 2 we, we can cal uh, concluded that uh, BGI and CDF they have got the they are the major two clusters matrix 3 we have concluded that BGI and CDF they are uh, at 0.86 similarity index and then the H similarity index, uh, the H has 0.61 similarity with BGI and CDF EF. So now we will put all these values in diagrammatic form of dendrogram. So this is how they are put in the dendrogram form. So BGI is one cluster, CDF is another cluster and they are at the similarity 0.86. This we have concluded from matrix 3. So this value we will show here as 0.86. And then the H is related to them at 0.61. So we will show like this. So this was a simple uh, representation of how we do manual calculations using uh, for making a dendrogram. Otherwise we can do it through software also. We can also do dendrogram preparation using softwares like NTSYSPC. So I hope you have understood the topic students. Thank you.